Kind of, yeah, yeah. Backstage live at uh, Rock on the Range with the one, the only, Slash. Congratulations on a, uh, another uh, amazing record. And the growth from you know, the, the, the first solo record to this new one is almost night and day. I know you're working with one singer, of course, with, uh, with Miles. But uh, tell me about what changed between the last record and this. Well, I mean, the last record was a, a, a very defined project where I wanted to write a bunch of material and, and find the right people to sing the different songs and so on. So, you know, that was a, it was a very different kind of a, a, an outing for me, you know. But it was a lot of fun and it was great because it was the first time that I'd done anything totally on my own. Mm -hmm. And so then after that was over, uh, I met Miles Kennedy and we started to go out and do this tour and this lineup that's playing on this record. I met at the tail end of making the last record. Mm -hmm. and, and so when we were touring, I thought, these guys are awesome. You know, we should make a record. And so Miles and I started riding on the road. And, uh, and this is more uh, sort of a traditional rock and roll record mm -hmm. for me. It's more of like what I normally do. Now this industry knows that uh, as far as riff guys, there's not many that are, that are better than you. Um, how does the writing process work with Miles? Because Miles is a pretty accomplished songwriter in his own right, yeah. Yeah, it's great. Um, I, you know, I just come up with musical ideas or whatever, and I mean, the way that we wrote on the, the last tour, you know, we were playing like six nights a week, so we didn't have a lot of time to get together and jam after shows or, you know, on days off because we're always traveling. So I would just record stuff on my computer, send it to him. He, you know, if he dug it, he'd come up with some ideas, and we just accumulated a lot of that over the period of however many months it was. Right. And so then, and then, uh, you know, sometimes the sound check, we'd work on something, sometimes in the dressing room, mm -hmm. we'd work on something. But after the tour was over, we got together and really worked on these songs in earnest. And that was basically it. And, and we just, uh, we all five, all four of us really sort of got the band arrangements together and, and, and the different parts and, and put it together and that was it. What do you look for in a, in a great fellow musician to, to, to put together a project with? Um, that's a, that's Anything a, in particular? That's a really good question. I mean, you're looking for something that, that comes naturally. I mean, that's probably one of the most important things. Somebody who has their own natural style and that is a real rock and roll person mm -hmm. as opposed to somebody who just wants to get dressed up. <laughs> How many top hats do you have speaking of dressed up? Uh, uh, have see, we were having such a nice organic conversation. <laughs> I, have to go there. Um, I, I have one main one and I have some old ones. I have like four or five altogether. Right on. And uh, um, okay, so if you were locked away in a room for an hour with a musician, alive or dead, you had to hang out and talk with him, who would it be? All right. Uh, to hang out and talk with. Probably Hendrix. Jimmy I Hendrix. think that would be an interesting conversation. Right on. Yeah. Slash, great to see you, man. Congratulations on everything. All right. Let's rock on the range. Perfect. Thank you.